Hey guys, it's Dr. Nate here again with Dr. Vu, and we want to go over some things today. Mainly, we want to talk to you about how we can make your dental visit go smoother and how we can make you more comfortable at the dental office. All right, Dr. Bruce, so I want to talk to these lovely ladies and gentlemen here. We want to make sure that we can make their visit as smooth as possible. I'm an orthodontist, so my stuff's easy. You know, they come in, they're getting braces. It's pretty easy. There's no real discomfort here. I know we've kind of mentioned this before. We have some things that help them out. We have, um, you know, when they come in, we have the Netflix on the top and front. We have the earphones. You know, we're trying to do everything that we can to make their visit a little bit smoother, a little bit more comfortable. But let's talk about some of the other stuff, some of the stuff when people are really nervous to come in. Um, you know, they're so nervous that when they sit down, they start, they start getting really nervous and shaky. What are some of the medications or some of the things that we can give them to help them out a little bit? Yeah, so we typically start off once, once we get in the chair, we try to distract them, you know, talk about something other than what's going to get done. Because the last thing, you know what's going to get done. So what we try to do is kind of lay the framework, get to know you, just try to make it seem like it's, you know, it's, you're at your friend's house or at your neighbor's house or your family house. Get you comfortable first with us before we move forward with anything else. Uh, once we achieve that, you know, that friendship, that bond, what we do is we put some strong topical gel on there, just kind of help numb the area where we're going to inject. After that, the second key thing that we try to do is give a nice slow injection just so you don't feel the burn as much from the anesthetic. Um, other than that, that's how we can do it if you just do it from there. We also have some other sedation methods that we can do to help, you know, if your anxiety is a little bit more or you're a little more tense. We have nitrous oxide, it's going to help, it's like a little, what people call as laughing gas. It's a very calming agent. That's one way to pass the time. The other thing we do is called oral sedation. We give you a pill, it kind of gets you, gets you in a good state of mind. Uh, after that, we do as much work that you allow us to do in the, that we consented to in the beginning. And after that, you will get a ride of transportation that comes through and you'll be on your way and it's uh, pretty smooth from there. You know, this, this is actually, this like holds dear to my heart right now because my mom is actually going through a surgery. She's probably gonna watch this here. <laughs> She's going through a dental surgery. Actually, it was today and she was given some medication. So I'm Canadian, so back in Canada, they gave her, um, I think it was like 0.25 milligrams of triazolam. Um, I believe they did it just the morning of, but do you want to go through that just a little bit? I know, I'm not sure if it's the day before and the morning of, and how does it help them? And do you use that triazolam um, with anything else, or how does that work? Yeah. So in the past, a lot of people have maybe taken a Valium before their appointments. Um, with this triazolam to us, it's a very shorter acting, so it, it, and it's very potent, so it works strong, stronger than, than the Valium. We take it about 30 minutes to an hour uh, before you come in. Mm -hmm. You will be set on some monitors just to make sure everything's nice and safe and you're comfortable. You'll be probably turning on that Netflix, putting on your favorite show, get yourself comfortable. Um, 30 to 45 minutes in is what we typically see is that sweet spot. You get into this uh, lackadaisical, your eyes get a little light, you get a little bit sleepy. And that's when we start going in and maybe we put on the gas and get you more comfortable. And from there, it is uh, the triads that the doctor, as Dr. Nate was saying, the dosage kind of depends on uh, how anxious you are and, and body weight. We typically start at 0.25, and if you're a little more anxious or you're heavier built, we do about two of those. So it'd be 0.5 milligrams, and then we kind of mm -hmm. titrate that so to see how you are and how you're feeling. Nice. Okay. So so you'll use that along with laughing gas to kind of get them at that that perfect level. Um, okay. Let's talk about uh, let's talk about a couple things. So first of all, how long? I know you're saying we can work on you as long as you allow, but like how long does it typically last? Like the the triazolam. People say it lasts, it's very patient dependent, um, depending on how fast your body gets rid of medications. We, it says about a couple hours in your system that it's, it's, it's really active. So that gives us a, a lot of time to kind of work if we have to do any major treatments like implants, root canals, uh, maybe extractions, it works really well for that. But we err on, you know, give it about three, four hours to kind of filter out. Um, if we need to give some any strong pain medications, we, t we advise at least eight to 12 hours of letting that make medication filter out before you go and take that medication. Okay, so this is actually a question my, my mom had for me, I didn't really know. Um, how safe is, is this stuff? So first of all, I guess, how safe is triazolam or those type of medications? And then how safe is laughing gas? Laughing gas is very safe. The only really contraindication that we have for that is if you have any respiratory disease, so you have very strong asthma or bronchitis, anything like that, you're not gonna be able to absorb the, one, the nitrous oxide, and two, the, the oxygen that needs to get rid of that out of your body. Um, and if you're pregnant, because it passes the, the, the barrier and, and affects the baby. So those are a couple of things that we look at uh, as far as napping gas. But as far as sedation, it's 
as long as you're pretty healthy, pretty calm, it actually works very well. Uh, I typically tell my patients about 80% of the time you'll get into that falling asleep stage, which, which is kind of what we want. And if you don't get to that stage, you get to the point where you know what, you're, I don't want to say you don't care, but you feel like you're, you're, you're a lot calmer than you were before. Sometimes you come in through, through, the, through the doors, you're, you know what's going to happen, you get shared, maybe it's that white coat syndrome that you have, and you're shaking, you're getting chills. After you get this medication, you're sitting there just relaxing a little bit. It, it, it does make a, a difference for both the provider and it works for the patient. It's kind of a, a win-win situation for the both of us. So I, I know, so I know laughing gas is super, super safe, um, but trisom, I mean, it, it must be used so much obviously because it's, it's very safe as well, right? Yes, it is. Okay, yeah, so that's, that's good. So we, so we have everything. We have, you know, we have the TVs up front. Obviously our offices are beautiful, I believe. Um, we have the amazing staff, the, one of them holding the camera right now, yeah. that are making everything amazing. You're giving, you're being very calm and gentle with them. You're giving them uh, topical anesthetics, so if you do have to give injections, it's super easy. You don't really feel it. And if you're even more nervous, the next step you're saying would be maybe do nitrous oxide or laughing gas. And if you're more nervous after that, probably do a little bit of a plan and do some maybe triazolam along with the nitrous oxide. That's right. right. And this, the biggest thing with sedation is. I mean, you're in control of how sedated you want to be. And then you're also safe because we're in control of how sedated we want you to get. Mm -hmm. And until we find that safe comfort zone, um, we don't really do any work until both you and I are comfortable. Nice. All right, I think we got it. So we can have you being here, being comfortable at the office. So once again, thank you very much for watching. And if you have any comments, leave them below and we'll try our best to answer any questions. Thanks so much. Thank you. All right, guys, thanks for watching. And once again, please subscribe below. And if you have any comments, questions, also please leave them below. And I will try my best to answer all your questions. Thank you so much.